what's up you guys welcome back to the channel so fun little thing we're doing right now i thought i'd just grab my camera and vlog it we are headed to seattle washington as you guys may or may not know we're in spokane washington so we're like four hours away sorry if my camera is moving everywhere this thing is not sturdy at all we are going to ifo and that's like a racing, like a drag racing event over in Seattle. And we are racing my car, Gary, which is insane. And I was not planning, wait, hold the frick on, where am I going? Hold on one second. Okay, I pulled over so you guys can hear me a little bit better. But as I was saying, we're going down with Josh Bader, his wife, Shania, some other Subi people. And we're bringing Gary down there too, my STI. And if you guys didn't watch the last video, she just hit 617 stock motor um, on E85 on the dyno, which is crazy to me. So Devin thought, why don't we go down with uh, Josh Bader and run it on the track and see what the time will be. Like, we're just curious, I guess, on how fast this car will go, if it'll hold. It's all very nerve wracking. But before we do all that, Devin, of course, he wanted to tune his STI, STI over at Josh's place. So we're here at Josh's shop and Devin's busy tuning right now. Devin is tuning. Josh let him have the dyno, which is really scary. But while he's doing that, I'm gonna go get coffee because it's cold and we have a long road trip ahead. So we all need something to drink. So I'm gonna go get coffee, guys. Hi, how are you? Hi good, how are you? Thank you. Thank you so much. Keep the change on that. You know, trade Jeff. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. to update you guys it is like five or six hours later i have literally been hanging out in my sti almost all day because they have been trying to get this one car tuned on the dyno so we're still in spokane it's freezing cold so that's why i'm just chilling in my car it sounds like they're gonna go get the car on the dyno which, which is great if you guys can hear that it's in there one eternity later i have a lot to update you guys on so we ended up leaving josh bader's place his shop at like what was it like 10 o'clock at night and we ended up getting to seattle around 2 30 a.m so we just went straight to bed i didn't have a chance to update you guys but we're here at i think it's called pacific raceways or something like that and we're just waiting in line there's a ton of people here um Lots of Subies, lots of Hondas, We've got a Super next to us, but yeah, just chilling. Devin and I just got coffee, we're both sleepy. We got Gary out to the track, we're in the pits right now, we got the whole BBR crew. Um, obviously we don't have a pair of racing slicks for Gary, so Josh lent us his winter tires and wheels, which apparently is good. But Devin's gonna put those on and then he's gonna get ready to race. I have a feeling he's a wee bit nervous. <laughs> Very nervous. How nervous are you on a scale of one to 10? Better now. Good. Just cause I see a bunch of other slow shit out here, so I won't be the slowest. Keep on trying to get me to race this car. I don't know if I'm going to. I honestly didn't come prepared mentally for that, so. I'm gonna see how Gary does, and then maybe I'll run. Um, but I'm thinking she's gonna run like a 11.5 the first time, honestly.
update. Devin did one pass in the CI. It was so hectic and so crazy. Like the guy next to him, they told him he couldn't race anymore. So Devin like, we were all unsure of what was like going on. I barely got my camera up in time to like record him. It was super blurry. I'll add the clip in here. <laughs> best pass ever which is fine but in a result of that I got a rod knock in Gary we're gonna have to rebuild the motor which really freaking sucks I wanted to do a pass on the track Devin's pretty disappointed he's like pretty angry for how it all went but it's okay because we expected something like this to kind of happen anyways you guys I have not had one single thing to eat today and it is 1 15 and I really want to go outside and mingle with everybody, but I'm so freaking hungry that I, I'm starting to become hangry. And I'm trying to convince Devin to leave so we can go get some food, and then we got to figure out how we're getting this car home. So, yeah. I will update you guys when I have food in hand and I have a little bit more energy. I didn't update you guys at all because once again we ended up getting home back to Spokane that night at 2 30 a.m so we literally just drove like the whole way there and everybody was so freaking tired but we'll give you a better rundown on my car Rodney came knocked on my freaking motor all right so with that being said we trailered it home um which was really really sad just because we were not really expecting to be trailer trailering at home this is kind of what the plan is because i was like okay well what are we gonna do you know like i have an evo but the motor's out of it and my sti is now down so i'm actually gonna be driving here i'll show y'all hello coda hello honey hi baby so I'm going to be driving the BRZ for the next few, I don't know, maybe a week. Devin was explaining to me that he has a closed deck at his shop waiting just to go with my STI. So it's not like we, it's a huge deal that motor needs to be built now just because I feel like everybody's kind of been expecting it to go. According to Devin, it hit 38 pounds of boost and it was only supposed to hit like low 30s I believe so the so it, she got a little spicy I'm pretty sad I don't know if I'm gonna do the same setup yet like if I want the same turbo in it or what we're going to do but I really really liked the way it was before it was such a good daily driver but it also was fast like 617 that's perfect I'm not you know I don't need anything more if I want anything more, I feel like I can just leave my Evo at the 800 horsepower it's supposed to make. So that's the plan for now, is probably to get the Evo done first and then to work on my STI after that. But for now, Gary's gonzo, which is really sad because I was so excited um, to see what kind of numbers she'd hit on that pass. Anyways, guys, that is the end of this video. I know it's super short. I didn't expect it to be that short. <laughs> I expected to to show you guys me driving my STI down the track and yeah that's okay though so anyways guys comment down below give me your thoughts if you like this video remember hit the like button subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video bye